Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson, talking today about the buggy whip forehand and how much we should lean on this shot once we learn to use it. Okay, like most shots, when we learn them, they're new, they're exciting, we want to use them a lot. There's one peril to this, okay, and especially with the buggy whip forehand, is it's not my traditional follow through. The swing I'm gonna use most often on my forehand is still my traditional low to high swing. Okay, so even once we learn to use this buggy whip finish, the question is how much do I wanna rely on that? And what I would pose to you guys is recognize the footwork that's required to hit the two different types of forehands, okay? What's great about the buggy whip is there's times where if I'm out of position and didn't move my feet very well, I can hit this shot effectively with either lazy footwork or I just couldn't get to the ball, whatever it is. With my traditional forehand, I don't get away with this swing if I don't move well. Okay, so what I, what I would say to you guys is I still want you to make sure you're moving effectively regardless of what type of forehand you choose to hit. You know, you'll see a lot of players and coaches, you know, running around the court, and if they're hitting a buggy whip forehand, it's because it's by design. You'll then see a couple players that just kind of camp out in the middle of the baseline, and they're hitting the buggy whip forehand because they didn't want to move. And that's kind of my main thought for you guys is, I don't want this shot to be a crutch that we have to use because we didn't move well. Okay, so I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna show you a couple traditional forehands and a couple buggy whip forehands. And I want you to notice that with both of them, I'm working hard to set up the shots. I'm not just hitting the buggy whip because I wanna stand here and be lazy. Okay, so let's take a look at my traditional forehand here. You guys can see that little bounce in my step one more time, little bounce in the step. And now the buggy whip, I'm still making sure that that shot is in play because I want it to. Watch this one. See how you like my footwork now. You know, that's, that's a shot right there where I really should be splitting, moving, and hitting a traditional forehand. Okay, so go out, really enjoy the buggy whip, but make sure you're using that shot because it's meant to be effective, you're, you're meant to you know, move the feet well, not just use it because we didn't move well. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.